Michael, you know, you mentioned um, that more MPs have gone to jail in the last two decades for dishonesty over their expenses, for perjury and for sexual offences than at any time in the last 200 years. Is it that the calibre and quality of MPs is lower than ever, or is it just that the modern day they get caught more easily? Well, I think there's an element of uh, they get caught more easily and perhaps the courts are more harsh on them. But I think the real problem is the lack of scrutiny, particularly early in the process. And as a journalist, over the years, I've always had what I always say, accidents waiting to happen. You know, Geoffrey Archer was the prime example. How he was ever chosen as the Tory candidate for mayor of yeah, London, London, when all the things that everybody knew about him in his past are all the doubts about his past. Andy Coulson was chosen to be communications director for David Cameron and then in Downing Street when he was so close to the whole of the, uh, the phone hacking affair. And, of course, eventually he went to jail. How people made those appointment decisions... And, of course, in your own party, you know, you had trouble finding a successor and a whole series of unsuitable <laughs> uh, subsequent leaders of UKIP. So you weren't exempt either. Well, it was and, a hot and, and in Labour, you had Keith Vaz. I mean, you know, Keith Vaz was elected by MPs as chairman of the Home Affairs Committee when only a few years earlier he'd been suspended for Parliament from never, for not cooperating with a, a select committee. So, you know, it goes on and on and on. Just lack of judgment by people in power.